Hello there, all our subscribers out there in YouTube world. My name is Mr. Orem from Jam Packed Gaming, and I'm here with a dual commentary with my friend Deshankopotamus. What's up, Shank? Hey guys, what's up everyone? It's Deshankopotamus, and this is probably my second the second upload you guys are seeing on the channel of my gameplay. I uploaded uh, one game the other day and uh, me and Mr. Orem decided to do a dual commentary so should it be pretty cool. Okay yeah so uh, pretty much I'm running this jam-packed gaming channel with my friend Derp and uh, what we're doing is pretty much we're trying to find the best commentators that we can and we're trying to bring them in and you know just get the best high quality gameplay and commentary that we can and I know we found you and we really enjoyed the work that you were putting out there so we asked if you would want to come upload and you were uh, open to the idea so we're really glad to have you out here oh yeah it's awesome um it's been um I mean you guys are a brand new channel so we've only been uploading videos I think this channel is from just Christmas of 2010 and I actually first noticed you when um legit rabbi gave you guys a shout out up on two bucks's channel and it was like, just go check out Jam Pack Gaming. So I looked at your guys' videos, and I really like the stuff you're putting up. So I contacted you guys, and you guys got back to me real quick. And within a couple of days, I was uploading my first video. So it worked out pretty well. Okay, yeah. And pretty much uh, what I've made the goal of this entire community channel was, like I said, just to bring together, together the best commentators. Because I have some pretty high standards for commentators to bring them together. And just one spot where people can come and see and upload. But... Pretty much what I wanted to talk about in this commentary, and I know I didn't run over run this over with you, but uh, like, what do you think makes a good commentator on YouTube, or like, how do you think, like, what? Yeah, we'll, we'll start with that. Like, what do you think makes a good commentator on YouTube, or like something that would make a channel better than others? Well, when you're going into like the commentary business, what one thing you really have to do is be able to stick out from the other commentators, because it's like a really oversaturated market. There's tons of people doing this. Like, the commentary boom got started, like, two years ago, and ever since then, there's been, like, tons of people. They were, like, the first guys that started doing it, like, Always Be Blade, Blame Truth, like, those guys. Those were, like, the pioneers of it, and everyone else kind of just, like, tagged along, and to stand out nowadays, you really have to do something unique and special that is different, because I don't think the regular commentaries now are just, like, cutting it anymore. You gotta do something special and different to stand out from the crowd. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with that. I think originality is definitely a big part of the community right now. And that if you are going to put out an original video, I think you have a very good chance of getting noticed as opposed to channels that put out just the same stuff over and over again. And I think people get bored of it. And I'm not saying that you're not going to gain subscribers by just putting out commentaries. But for instance, uh, my friend Axe Infection just put out a 300 kills in 3 minutes montage, which is one of the most original things I've seen on YouTube. You know, Because there really isn't a whole lot of creativity or originality out there in the marketplace right now where people can just think of a good idea because a lot of this stuff has already been taken and already been done if that makes sense yeah what I've been seeing a lot of is people just recreating what's already been done and I mean that's like if you can do that and you can do it well that's cool but if you really want to get a lot of views and a lot of attention you have to do something that is 100% your own and it just seems like nowadays a lot of people are lacking creativity and I've been watching videos, and I just noticed like a lot of them look exactly the same. And I'm not gonna watch someone's video if it's just in like an average, like an above average gameplay, like say like a 40 and two, and then they just talk about like why the AK74U is overpowered. Because I mean that's what that's what everyone is doing. You really need to have some better topics to talk about or do something special with it. Okay, yeah, because on my gameplays, you know, I'm not really the best Call of Duty player. I mean, I have my good games, and I can play the game pretty well. But for the most part, on my gameplays, I have not the best uh, gameplay, but I try and kind of try and bring up, like, something uh, a little bit random or something that keeps people interested in my commentaries my gameplay, just so, you know, I set myself apart rather than just saying, I'm using the AK-74U, Hutch thinks it's overpowered, so I think it's overpowered, and, like, not taking shots at Hutch or anyone. You know, just saying that, like, uh, it's just pretty much people are talking about the same things over in their commentaries, and I think it just needs to be a little bit more original. Yeah, you'll, you'll see the big guys just talking about one thing, and everyone else just, like, leeches onto that, and they believe it. And, like, a lot of times, like, what they're saying doesn't necessarily have to be true. And, like, people that watch those big commentators kind of, like, put them on, like, a god-like level, like, that their opinion is, like, super important or something. And, I mean, I'm not saying that they're wrong, but, um, like, people shouldn't just blindly follow them just because of who they're, like, what their name is, you know? 
Yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense. And it's also, like, yeah, they did make that name for themselves. And, like, you got to totally respect that, that they are that they were out there working hard every single day, working for 200,000 subscribers plus, you know what I mean? Like, that's got to be something hard to accomplish. I hope that someday Jam Fact Gaming and your channel gets to that many subscribers. But I think it's going to take a lot of hard work. And, like, the road from here on is pretty tough just because, like you said, the community is definitely oversaturated with commentators. And that's something that you definitely notice a lot, is that if you search Modern Warfare 2 gameplay commentary, it's just thousands upon thousands upon thousands of videos of a lot lower-end guys, you know, using the Dazzle or using the home video recorder, like the nice camcorder to make pretty bad quality videos, but there are just a lot of people out there doing it. Yeah, like, right when you get started, I think is the hardest time, because, like, absolute, there's no, no one knows who you are. If you don't have friends, you're not going to get, like, any subscribers, but... What you have to do is you have to network and you have to like meet other people that have a similar number of subscribers or a similar interest to you. And what you have to do is you have to like make friends within the community. That's the only way you can grow. It's really hard to do it by yourself unless you have like really, really original content. And that's what I've noticed out here. Um, uploading videos since like last May. Yeah, I don't know if you know who DJ Keemstar is. Uh, I don't know if you're a fan of the FAG or not, but I was lucky enough to get a shout out from him on his live stream for my first uh, channel, and so uh, he gave me about 150 subscribers overnight, and it was awesome because then my videos were getting a lot of views, and you know I didn't have to worry about getting subscribers because once I got that 150, once you get to 150 is like the number, your channel just starts growing exponentially because people start telling their friends and they start telling them your friends. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like. One, one shout out from a big commentator can get you tons of subscribers because just based off that person's name, they know that, like, they trust them and they believe that if he's giving you a shout out, then your channel has to be good. So if you're able to get a shout out from a larger channel ever, it's going to boost your subscribers, like, really quick. Oh, yeah, that that would be totally awesome. But, you know, another thing that uh, I wanted to talk about was uh, the lack of other games besides Call of Duty being released on YouTube. And I know there's been a big Minecraft kick lately where a lot of people have been doing Minecraft Let's Plays. But I'm really, like, uh, it's kind of disheartening to see because I bought Medal of Honor, and Medal of Honor is one of the best games I've ever played. I absolutely love that game. And it's really challenging. It's a really fun game to play, but you don't really see anything besides Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops on YouTube anymore. Yeah, I know. That's what people originally started uploading, like the bigger guys. And everyone, again, just, like, like followed along with that. And Medal of Honor, I feel like I played the game. I actually own it for the PS3, but I feel like a lot of people didn't get it just because they knew Black Ops was coming out the next month, and Call of Duty's been, like, such a successful franchise. They just figured Medal of Honor wouldn't be worth it, and it's a really good game, and it really doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. Yeah, I, mean, I definitely enjoyed playing that game a lot. That's one of my favorites, and, you know, I go back to it from time to time whenever I get angry at Call of Duty just because like the amount of time that they spent putting in that game and polishing it rather than they did in Modern Warfare 2 where it was glitchy and there were god guns. Every gun is pretty much balanced in Medal of Honor and I think that's a big difference because I think the Call of Duty developers know that if they're putting out a Call of Duty game it's going to sell. Yeah because I mean they built the name over the course of multiple multiple games and I think when COD 4 came out that's when they really went like above and beyond like when COD 4 came out for its time it was better than anything anyone's ever seen before and just since then they've been just like such a dominant franchise and regardless of what they release the quality of it they almost have like a monopoly on the first person shooter industry because of how popular their games have become yeah and that's just like just like we were just saying with the big commentators you know like it's maybe it's not the right thing but they've worked hard to get that fan base and get those people that believe in them so they're gonna buy everything that they say or buy everything that they release and I mean it's definitely something you respect, but it's just, like, kind of messed up the system that goes along with that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's just, like, a lot of people, like I said before, just blindly following along. But, of course, you have to respect, like, Call of Duty. You have to respect the big commentators because of, like, yeah, you know, what you said, all the work being put into it. Yeah, um, I think we're running out of time. I think we got, like, two minutes left in the gameplay. But, uh, before... Like ten minutes now. Yeah, um, but before it ends, uh, I just wanted to ask you, how did you get into YouTube? Um, well, I first got into YouTube, um, it was like back in February, I think, where I had Modern Warfare 2 for a while then, and I started just, I searched, um, I think it was like Call of Duty or whatever on YouTube, and I ended up stumbling upon a Scene Enters video, and I watched that, and I was like amazed that you could actually upload your videos to YouTube. So, I was like, 
all right, this is really cool, and by May I ended up getting a Dazzle, and I started uploading videos, but I wasn't too serious about it at first, but, like, over the summer I really didn't upload too many videos, I think I was only uploading maybe two or three videos a month, so I, I like, I just did it for fun, pretty much, and just uploaded when I wanted to, but back when Black Ops came out, that's when I really got into it, and, uh, for Christmas I actually did get an HD PVR, which is quality is so much better than the Dazzle. And I've been uploading on a regular basis now, like four or five times a week, and I'm into it, and it's a lot of fun. And my subscribers have been going up a decent amount. I think I just reached 400, which I'm pretty proud of. Yeah, congratulations on that. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I hope to get to like a thousand within, I don't know, the near future, maybe before like the spring or something. But once you get past that, like, first wave, or like, once you get past like 150 subscribers, like you said, it's been going up pretty quick since then, so I'm pleased with that. Yeah, alright, well I think this video is pretty much winding down, I can't see the screen, but uh, I just want to say thank you to all the people who have subscribed to me, uh, Shankopotamus's link will be in the description if you guys can go over there and check him out as well, he would greatly appreciate it, I assume. Uh, so, thanks for coming out, Shank, uh, thanks for reviewing the video, uh, please like, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, comment, thanks a lot, peace. Alright, peace guys, see you next time.